Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. So, what are we looking at today? We are looking at a light. Now, why are we looking at a light? Well, anybody that does crafting, be it coloring, diamond painting, crocheting, cross-stitching, and even into things like photography, putting mini kits together, you know, any of that, you need awesome lighting. So BenQ asked me quite a while ago if I would like to show this light on my channel. And I thought, oh, great. Yes. <laughs> um, it is typically a desk model lamp. However, I had a very specific area that I would have liked this for. And I really didn't have any room on my desk or anywhere like that for a desk lamp. So I asked if they had a floor model. And it just so happens they have a floor attachment. There's a base that you can buy separately for this particular desk lamp. Uh, currently, the floor attachment is not available on Amazon, but it is available over on their website. The lamp itself is available on Amazon and their website. And you can also purchase the entire lamp with the floor extension on Amazon. So while you can't buy the lamp and the floor extension separately on Amazon, you can buy the whole thing as one unit. And I will be leaving all the links down below in the comment section, no description, um, for the Amazon links and also to Ben Q's website. Um, this lamp, as you can see, is a very modern or futuristic looking type of lamp. Um, it has a curved bar. Um, with that curved bar, you can see it gives it a very broad spectrum type of lighting, much more um, of a wider lighting area than your typical lamp. Um, so it, it is nice when you need to see a little bit larger of an area than say the more spotlight image you would get with a regular lamp. And it also provides a lot less shadowing. If you would put your hand underneath a regular lamp and you would see the shadow underneath, and then you would put your hand underneath the lighting of this lamp, there's a lot of difference. There's a lot less shadowing and, and shading and, and whatnot on your paper, or on your project, whatever you're working with, with this lamp versus um, a standard lamp, if that makes any sense. The thing that I really love about this lamp is it is touch base. And we're going to zoom in in a little bit and I'm going to show you the actual features of the lamp. Um, with it being a touch base, that ring, um, or a touch lamp, I love because of the place that I have this lamp currently in the living room, back behind my chair, kind of off to the left a little bit. I just have to reach up back behind me, touch that ring, and it turns on magically. <laughs> I have a touch lamp upstairs in my bedroom on my bedside uh, end table. And I love it. I just love the, the touch uh, where you turn it on and off. There is a very, very heavy base to this lamp. You do not have to worry about it tipping over <laughs> at all. Um, by far, it is what comprised the vast majority of the weight in the packaging. Now, there is a much larger base plate, of course, to the lamp, the floor lamp, versus the desk lamp. In contrast, this is what the desk lamp base is. And yeah, it is extremely heavy. There are some feet on the bottom to keep it from moving and making sure that nothing gets scratched. And it even says, do not drop on your foot. Very, very heavy. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. All right, we do have a fabric power cord, which I like. If uh, you have any critters like I do, I have a cat who likes to chew 
electrical cord. So we have to cover everything. This already has a fabric cord in, so she does not touch this cord. It has a nice long cord, which I also like. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to mention um, before we zoom in and look at its features? Oh, along with the floor lamp option, um, if you get the desk lamp and you decide you don't, and this was one problem I had, I don't have room on my desk for this great big heavy plate. Um, and some of you may not also. And they do have a C-clamp attachment that you can purchase separately. It's not that much, but if you would rather clamp it to your desk versus have this heavy plate, you know, it's a little bit larger on your desk, you can go ahead and do that. I think it's under 20 bucks for the for the clamp. So I am going to pause here and we're going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to look at the features. So I will be right back. Okay, here we are close up, zoomed in on the uh, features of this particular lamp. Here is that ring that I talked about that turns it on and off. So you tap it once to turn it on. Tap it again to turn it off. Simple, easy peasy, right? Now, if you turn it on and you want to adjust the brightness, you just turn the dial. Now, because um, it does have memory in it, the next time, if you want it dimmer, the next time you turn it off and then you turn it back on, it will remember the setting that you had it on the last time. If you want to change the warmth, the temperature of the lighting, just push in the button, the dial, and you can change it from warm to cooler. Matter of fact, I think I am going to pause. I'm gonna go turn off my overhead light. You can be able to see this much easier. One moment. Okay, this might make it a little easier. So we can change the warmth to very warm or very cool. I kind of like it somewhere in between. Then again, push the button and you can change how bright you want that temperature. Push it again. If you want to go back into the temperature mode, push again to come back out and adjust the brightness. So nothing too complex, but there's an added feature that BenQ added to their lamp. There's a couple of additional things. If you long press on the ring. Now, I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> there is a green light that lights up here around the ring and it turns green. This puts it in ambient mode, which means it's going to detect the amount of light in your room. It's going to automatically, automatically adjust how bright this light should be, which is really nice. Now, if you want to get back out of that mode, all you have to do is turn the brightness dial manually, takes you right out. If you want to get back in it, again, long press. See how it adjusted that because it's low light in here. It brought the, the lighting down. Now, if we long press it again, you'll see it turns, it turns to kind of an orangish red. And again, I'm not sure how well that is showing up on screen. I think you can kind of see it up here. That will put you into book reading mode, which is really nice if you are, um, yeah, reading a book, I guess is uh, why they call it that. Uh, screen, uh, working on computers. Um, yeah, anything like that that you would like, like this type of mode um, and again to get back out of it. Now if you want to go back into the ambient, long press, it'll turn green. And again, you could see how it adjusted that. Long press, 
you go back into this book reading mode. And again, if you want to get out of either of those, again, just turn your brightness dial. So a lot of neat features to this particular book. Book, what am I talking about? To this particular light, um, I have been using it for uh, many months now <laughs> um, because I had so many things going on um, that I was away from YouTube for quite a while. And thank you very much to BenQ for being so patient with me in uh, doing my review for this. I know there have been a lot of other reviews. Uh, BenQ sent this out to quite a number of us. And I think the vast majority of them had the desk lamp. Um, but again, I asked if they had a floor lamp model. And uh, yes, they so kindly agreed to send me the extension. So um, the thing that I also really like about this, and I'm going to zoom back out so you can see the lamp in its entirety. So, okay, I hope I don't get you guys sick. I'm going to manually be moving this camera is the fact that it moves in so many different positions. We have a pivot head here. We have, you can move it here and you can also move it down here. So you can move it in just about any position you want. It is easily moved, but yet stays in its position really, really nice. Now I'm gonna show you that big floor plate. Yeah, it's extremely heavy, extremely sturdy. So I have never had a problem with it tipping over whatsoever. Um, like I said, very versatile type of a lamp. I am loving it. Like I said, I have been using this lamp for, oh, must be a good maybe nine months. And I still love it as much today as I did when I first got it. <laughs> um, I do a lot of my coloring and my diamond painting out in the living room. And I use this lamp every single day. And I have not had a single problem with it uh, at this point. Now, pros, yeah, I pretty much all went over. There is one thing that uh, would have been kind of nice to have, not a have to have, but just kind of a nice to have. And that would have been to have um, maybe one or two USB ports um, on this light, because let's face it, we need USB ports for absolutely everything these days, right? Um, but I guess I only have one con, and that is its price take. Not everybody is going to want to pay $200 for a light. Um, and for the floor uh, version, it's an additional, you know, 100 bucks. So, yeah, I, I realize not everybody's going to be able to pay that premium price. However, there are lights um, in this price range, like BenQ, and they don't have as many features as this. This is a very premium quality type of light. You can tell that right out of the box. Very heavy duty metal. When you put this thing together, you can just kind of feel the difference when you put it together. So do you need a $200 lamp? I guess you have to answer that yourself. Not everybody does, but you know, again, if lighting is really important to you for your crafting um, or you know, whatever you're doing, then maybe you would want to go ahead and look at something like this. Um, otherwise, you know, like I said, there are much, much cheaper models out on the market, as we all know. But I did do some research into more of the higher end lamps, and yeah, there are some that are around in this price range, some a lot more even, and they don't have some of the features that this BenQ does. So I do think it is a good value for the money overall. But again, I realize not everybody could pay that for a light. I know I myself, if I was not sent this, um, 
I probably, you know, I, I might not have been able to uh, afford going out and buying a $200 light. So thank you very much to BenQ. I love it. So I am going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed seeing what this lamp slash light is about from BenQ. Again, I'll leave all comments um, down, all comments, all links down below in the description if you are interested in this light. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. You can leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. I'll see you in my next video, and I hope everybody's having a fabulous day, and happy coloring, happy crafting, happy diamond painting, happy everything. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you.